Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. Today it is Wednesday the 16th of December, it's around 2.30 in the afternoon and I'm on my way to work. I've just been to Wilco's to film there and now I'm walking to work. So I am just over halfway there. But well, I've decided for the rest of my journey I'd show it with you guys and we'd just chat along the way or rather I'd just talk to you along the way and a few people have asked for more memories videos so this is what this video is going to be a memories video and although my memories are of me growing up in Blackpool this one could probably apply to wherever you grew up because I'm going to talk about TV in the summer holidays now when I was a little kid there didn't seem to be a lot of television for little kids for the tiny little kids they had watch with mother stuff but that was only for like the preschool kids who weren't in school it was just like one program and in the evening there were a couple of kids programs but there wasn't a lot on through the rest of the day for instance if you happen to be off school and you were poorly and you've got your little bed on the couch with your blanket and your pillow you couldn't sit and watch kids TV all day because there just wouldn't be any like my mum had just watched Pebble Mill and grown up stuff and my dad would watch Crown Court and stuff like that there wasn't really kids stuff but in the summer holidays that all changed because there was kids stuff on the TV every morning so I remember summer holidays TV was great my sister and I would run downstairs and things I remember, the Merry Melodies show and it was just cartoons, Sylvester and Tweety mainly occasionally Bugs Bunny and stuff but the Merry Melodies was good but also I remember the banana splits I mean if you're around my age or even within five or six years older or younger you will remember the original banana splits and within the Banana Split show, they had their own cartoons The Worst of the Arabian Nights And I remember the Arabian Nights With the magical guy that had been like, oh Prince Sesame And then there was that little donkey where if you pulled its tail it would go crazy And the Three Musketeers, that was a cartoon of Banana Split and you had the Three Musketeers and D'Artagnan and that annoying little boy called Thule and that's pretty much all I remember for the cartoons Was there any more cartoons on the banana splits? You know, somebody's going to tell me in the comments and I'm going to be like, oh of course, yeah I remember that now What else about the banana splits? Dear Drupa When Drupa played the agony ant and then there was them annoying little girls that whenever they opened the door they'd be playing the guitars and singing with the sour grape sponge that's what they were called and who was your favourite banana split? my mum liked bingo my sister liked fleedle I think he was the boss, he was like the main banana split I like Grouper but I was always a little bit scared of Snorky to me Snorky was just terrifying and I never met anybody that actually liked Snorky poor Snorky if you were a Snorky fan let me know and other TV programmes before the banana splits a little bit earlier they would 
re-show really old shows. They used to show Robinson Crusoe, but it was a really ancient old black and white version. And I've got the theme tune in my head. Now I'm talking about it. I'm not going to attempt to sing it because I couldn't sing a note and tune if my very life and soul depended on it. But yeah, Robinson Crusoe. And then there was another another show called White Horses. And these were all foreign dubbed. Well, Robinson Crusoe wasn't dubbed, I don't think, but White Horses was definitely dubbed. But I can't even remember what White Horses was about. I just remember thinking that I liked it. And then there was a show called The Flashing Blade, and it had the best, most exciting theme tune the one that starts you've got to fight for what you want and all that you believe and again i'm not going to attempt to sing it because you'll all unsubscribe to me but i don't really remember what the fashion blade was about i just remember that awesome theme tune and what about other shows in the evening I'm trying to think of the ones that were shown when I was really really little not so much through my teens I'm just trying to remember the ones that were shown when I was tiny they showed Heidi one summer I really enjoyed watching Heidi but some of Holidays TV was great because it was really cool to watch TV for kids throughout the mornings because we never really got that usually because we only had well when I was little there were just three channels it was BBC One, BBC Two, ITV and then Channel Four started and Channel Four was marketed as this new great exciting youthful channel and whilst it was aimed at a more youthful audience it wasn't really aimed at little kids so it was good yeah summer holidays tv but going away from summer holidays tv for a bit i'm thinking of kids tv in general i used to get a few programs on in the evening that were for kids and I always used to think that these programmes for kids were absolutely great. Who remembers the Demon Headmaster? I mean, how thoroughly exciting was the Demon Headmaster? And then what about Chopper? That's based on the bit of John Wyndham book, or is it pronounced John Wyndham? I think it's John Wyndham, the same guy that wrote The Trippers and stuff like that. That is a great series for kids. It's also it's a great book. I actually managed to get the book to check it out of the Junior Library uptown when I was little. It was a great read. And I remember a show that was shown in the evening when I was really, really young called Come Back Lucy. And it was about a little girl that was haunted by a ghost. And talking of ghosts, what about rent a ghost? Just think of the theme tune to rent a ghost. That was quite an iconic show. Yeah, rent a ghost. We had some good TV shows as kids. And I know I've not mentioned Grange Hill yet, but I am going to do probably a full memories video on Grange Hill because it ran for something like 30 years. So I think Grange Hill would actually be worthy of a video of its own. But yeah, rent a ghost is good. And then there were a few when I got a little bit 
younger and when I'm saying a little bit older I mean just out of my toddlerhood when I'd started school there were some lunchtime programs for kids because some kids would go home for dinner and I don't mean they were the watch with mother programs they were different they used to do rainbow who remembers rainbow with Zippy and George and Jeffrey and Bungle I used to like Rainbow, but never liked Zippy. I thought he was obnoxious. And Bungle always gave me the creeps a little bit, to be honest. And then there was that German show, it was Barber Popper. And I don't really remember what it was about, but all the main characters were just like Blobby Lumps or Furry Blobby Lumps. It was a strange old show, that one, Father Popper. And actually, I'm going to close this video now, but I will start another one straight away. And I'm going to do a part two on Kids TV because I'm remembering more as I go along. So from this video, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Please leave a like and a comment and I shall start the next video, this one, part two, immediately. So, bye for now.